okay now what we have to understand is something called as the amort function in your calculator or a concept of amortization okay so we'll take a very simple example to first go to go with this let's assume that we have taken a loan of 1 lakh rupee or 100000 interest rate on this loan is 10% you are going to pay back this loan in four equal installment okay these installments would be paid at the end of the period at the end of year 1 end of year 2 end of year 3 and the first question that you have is find out how much should be that annual installment how much should we pay every year 1 lakh rupee 100000 is the loan interest rate 10% four equal installments how much should be that installment should be now very straight forward should be more than 25 substantially more than 25 27 500 nahi zyada aayega us ha 31547 compounding 31547 okay so how do you get that installment so Second clear TVM, hundred thousand is your present value. Interest rate is ten. Compounding is annually, so we simply say ten I Y four N compute payment. The installment amount that we have to pay is three one five four seven. Now, what we want to understand is the true meaning of this three one five four seven. What does it exactly mean? So, let's build a table. This table is called amortization table. Okay, so how do you build amortization? This is year one. This is year two, year three, year four. Opening amount of loan. Installment paid. Now, what we know is that when we pay this installment, some amount, some part of the installment is interest, and some part of the installment is principal. We repay both in parts. So, opening loan, installment. how much of this was interest how much of this was principal and what is the closing amount of loan so we know that opening amount of loan in year 1 was 100000 every year the installment that we pay is constant and that's what the payment function meant which is we just calculated 31547 so 31547 Three one five four seven. The amount that we pay is going to remain constant. Three one five four seven. How much should be the interest for year one? In year one, I have loan of one lakh. Interest rate is ten percent. Interest should be ten thousand. But I am paying thirty one five four seven. I am paying extra, so that excess is paying. I am paying towards repayment of loan. So my repayment of loan is two one. Five four seven, and at the beginning of the year, I had loan of one lakh. Someone please do this calculation. I have repaid loan principal of two one five four seven. How much is my closing loan? Seventy. Seventy eight four five three. So in the same fashion, we go further. Next year, opening loan, seventy eight thousand four fifty three. Again, we pay the same installment. Interest should be seven eight four five ten percent of this amount. Find out how much is paid towards principal. Three one five four seven minus seven eight four five. Three one five four seven minus seven eight four five. How much? Two three seven zero two. So I have repaid principal of two three seven zero two. My opening loan was seven eight four five seven. How much is my closing loan? Four two one seven five one. So my closing loan is five four seven five one. Next year opening is five four seven five one. Again my interest is ten percent of opening loan, which is five four seven five. But I pay three one five four seven, so my principal repayment is 
थ्री वन फाइव फोर सेवन माइनस फाइव फोर सेवन फाइव विच इज हाउ मच हा टू सिक्स जीरो सेवन टू एंड इफ आई हैव रिपेड टू सिक्स जीरो सेवन टू हाउ मच इज माई क्लोजिंग प्रिंसिपल टू एट टू एट फोर नाइन नाइन इज इट सेम शैलेन्द्र थ्री वन फाइव फोर सेवन माइनस फाइव फोर सेवन फाइव शुड बी टू जीरो सॉरी टू सिक्स जीरो सेवन टू फाइव फोर सेवन फाइव वन माइनस टू सिक्स जीरो सेवन टू टू एट सो दिस इज टू एट सिक्स सेवन नाइन वंस वी हैव टू एट सिक्स सेवन नाइन हियर माई इंटरेस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी टू एट सिक्स एट एंड देन द अमाउंट ऑफ प्रिंसिपल comes out to be टू एट सिक्स सेवन नाइन इन सच अ वे दैट माई क्लोजिंग लोन इज जीरो एंड दिस इज द ट्रू मीनिंग ऑफ दैट पेमेंट बटन दैट यू हैव इन योर कैलकुलेटर इट कैलकुलेटेड दैट नंबर इन सच अ वे दैट इफ यू पे दैट इक्वली एंड कैलकुलेट इंटरेस्ट ऑन द रिड्यूसिंग बैलेंस ऑटोमेटिकली एट द एंड ऑफ द टेन योर योर लोन इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो इज इज क्लियर now at times there is a possibility that there might be a question where there are let's say 15 installment how much is the interest component of the seventh installment okay so i'm just simplifying it in your exam the question the function can be used in seven eight different context so how much is the interest on seventh so what do you do you sit and make the whole table i remember i did the same on my exam i sat and made the whole table and then i realized that there is a smarter way of doing it that's what we want to learn and that smarter way is the amount function in your calculator so how do you use say second and clear tvm second clear tvm to use amount function first we have to solve for the same installment there so 100000 present value 10 is the iy 4 is the n compute payment it would give you the same number 31547 all of us have it once you have then press second and amount which is here above present value it will bring you to p1 is equal to some number now in case if you've used this in the past just to be sure say second and clear work so that if there was anything which was saved earlier that's deleted second and clear work done now it says p1 as of now don't worry about what's p1 just press downward arrow it shows p2 press downward arrow again it would show you balance 78452 does it match here yes so it directly give you the balance after year one press downward arrow again it shows principal paid 21547 matching yes interest paid 10000 matching yes press down one arrow again it would bring you to p1 okay now say 2 enter make p1 as 2 2 and enter press down one arrow again you are on p2 now say 2 enter so we made p1 as 2 we made p2 as 2 down one arrow now balance 54751 principal 23 701 interest 7845 so in this fashion if there were 20 installments you can find out how much is the interest in 19th by simply using this amount function directly and that's why i always say that this calculator is as good as a excel sheet whatever you can do on microsoft excel you can perform in this particular calculator is the logic clear now the question is why do we have p1 and p2 why do we have one P1 and P2. So let's assume on the exam there is a question where you are required to know the total amount of interest paid in installment three and four together, or from installment three to installment six or two, whatever category. So let's say let me find out the interest paid between two and four. So what do I do? I go to P1 again. I keep my P1 as two. I go to P2 and keep my P2 as four. So four enter. now come downwards it says after the fourth installment balance is zero total principal paid from installment 2 to 
टू फोर टोटल ऑफ दिस नंबर टू थ्री सेवन जीरो फाइव टू सिक्स जीरो सेवन टू प्लस टू एट सिक्स सेवन नाइन इज दिस नंबर डाउनवर्ड्स इंटरेस्ट इफ आई टेक टोटल ऑफ ऑल द थ्री सेवन प्लस फाइव प्लस टू दैट वुड कम आउट टू बी वन सिक्स वन डबल एट सो इट हैज डिरेक्टली गिवन यू द टोटल ऑफ इंटायर इंटरेस्ट पेड बिटवीन द टू सेट्स ऑफ इंस्टॉलमेंट्स इज इट क्लियर ग्रेट